never met so many people with such great technical knowledge as in this studio. Everyone has their niche, their specialty, and you can just learn so much every day about different areas. It's a really rewarding environment to be in. I'm fortunate that I have found my passion and I get to come to work every day and do what I love. I don't think everyone can say that. The process of having an idea in your head and being able to visualise it and then see it come to life is really quite magical. Every project's different and the needs of the end user and the key stakeholders are different. We design a vast array of spaces, whether that be large multi-purpose spaces that need to be highly flexible to suit different needs of users, diverse needs, or quite unique specific requirements for certain spaces. Working with our clients and our end users is critical to a perfect project. By having our workshops and really understanding how their business works, their goals and aspirations, what they're really wanting to achieve, it's really important. And have people take courage of those and being able to take all the users along that when they eventually have the space that they can feel that they have contributed and they understand why things are done and really the outcome can't be better when you have people who say, I did this and we worked as a team. We really need to create these spaces that people can customise in their own manner. Sometimes you find that if we're too rigid in our design, it doesn't create that opportunity. And especially like the dynamic nature of the workplace at the moment enables us to design in things that people can adapt as they go. So we do have a certain elements of set pieces but by creating areas that can make it more dynamic is really interesting. And we can do that through furniture, we can do it through lighting, we can do it through lots of different tips and tools. Place is really important for interiors. You know, you kind of often associate place with the, with the park or the landscape or the, or the city, but it's equally important to go to place, go to a building and, um, you know, appreciate the type of space. You need to, you know, go to site, appreciate the, the sun, the atmosphere the aspect because ultimately we need to plan our interiors that are efficient and, and meet the client's brief but then make a comfortable user environment. As humans we inherently seek that connection with nature and as designers we try to bring nature into everything we do whether that be access to natural light or ventilation, blurring the boundaries between interior and exterior space. The physical connection to the landscapes, bringing in natural materials such as timber and stone. There's even research around natural tones, your greens and your earthly tones, increasing the well-being of users in the space. I think every single one of us can recall a memory where they've had a positive influence from nature on the mind and the body. Designing from country is uh, a really interesting proposition. I kind of came into this practice with a fairly traditional background and training. Being an interior designer trained in the Western way, you look at things like aesthetics, you know, functionality, form, function, but we didn't really look at how First Nations lens or a way of thinking can be wrapped into interior design. And working with Craig Kerslake and Nalloway here, it's had a really profound impact on the way that we design. There's some really interesting Indigenous concepts, such as this idea of brackish space, so the idea where salt water and fresh water come together and it creates this real rich kind of melting pot or space for, for collaboration and social spaces. We're starting to design brackish spaces into, into our design. And it's not just the social tea point or kitchen, it's, it's actually wrapping that whole workplace or wrapping our planning around some of these traditional ideas. How do we create equitable environments? How do we design tables and meeting rooms that give everybody an equal opportunity or an equal standing at the table or within the meeting? These are some of the principles that we're starting to embed now uh, into our design, into our design practice, and it's really exciting.